This month, instead of going to my normal launch site, I'm going to head up to the FAR test site in the Mojave Desert to watch an engine test for the Sugar Shot to Space project. Of course, I'm also going to launch a Coyote rocket while I'm there to test the new Apogee detection system. The Sugar Shot to Space project is an ambitious undertaking by amateur rocketry enthusiasts from over 15 countries. Its goal is to be the first to launch a rocket into space, an impressive 62 miles above the Earth, using sugar as a propellant. So this is the Mojave Desert. It's 22,000 square miles of mostly nothing. That's three times the size of New Jersey. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and it's 107 degrees. Hey, there's a Joshua tree. Come on, let's check it out. Look at that. This amazing tree can survive out here in the desert with less than 10 inches of rainfall a year. The borders of the Mojave Desert are defined by the presence of this tree. It really is amazing. In fact, there are over 2,000 species of plants that live out here in the desert. After a dip in the pool and a good night's sleep, it's time to go meet some of the members of the Sugar Shot team. Hey, Dan. Hey, Matt. Nice to meet you. What's for breakfast? Well, I've been told the uh, Cornelius is good here. Give that a outstanding, shot. outstanding. I've got to take this dirt road 20 miles. And it's rough. And honestly, I'll be surprised if the rocket actually works. It's in the bed of the truck, everything's bouncing around. I, honestly, I'll be surprised if it doesn't just blow up on the bed. Okay. I, 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 when we hit that bump, that hole. Launcher came off the bed. I know. Because of certain risks and regulatory concerns, the engine for the Sugar Shot project will be a dual phase motor. With this type of motor, two separate propellant charges will be contained in separate compartments in a single motor casing. After the first phase is fired, there'll be a 16 second delay before the second phase is fired, allowing the rocket to coast through most of the denser lower atmosphere. These two phases will be separated by a frangible bulkhead, which will be breached when the second phase is fired. This is the uh, mid bulkhead. This is the uh, delay grain right there. And then this is the burst diaphragm up here underneath this cardboard. Okay. And uh, that fits in between the aft section here and the uh, forward section up there. And it looks really nice. It and does. It's like, no, oh, I can't stick it in a motor. It's <laughs> nice to put it in there. This presents a huge engineering challenge since this concept has never been tested prior to the start of this project. However, the group believes that with sufficient ground testing, this concept can be proven to be safe and reliable, and that's where today's test comes in. Mm -hmm. Rick, Rick, can you tell us what, uh, what happened to the first and second mini sugar shots? Well, let's see. Well, the first one, you know, the, the first uh, uh, pulse, uh, lower pulse, uh, fired okay. Mm -hmm. And then, like, uh, as soon as the second one fired, so something blocked the nozzle, and then it blew apart. And so we were thinking the casting tubes or liner or something, you know, during the 10-second delay, right. um, you started falling apart. And when the pulse fired, it flushed it down, blocked the nozzle, and the them. And then the uh, second one, we went with titanium casting tubes. And uh, the first pulse uh, burned fine. And then after the delay, then the second pulse was burning. And we had, what, about one second left? Second and a half, yeah. About a, a second left to go. And uh, on the video camera, like there was three frames where where nothing was coming out. Full, and then, full thrust to zero thrust. Yeah, was, yeah. and so it, it blew. And uh, when it blew, we had these, these white hot globs coming out, which was the melted titanium. So. So what's the difference on, on this test compared to the last one? There's a new ablative coating. The ablative casting tubes. Right. You know, since the ablative material on the, uh, on the nozzle... Uh, and on the mid bulkhead. On the mid bulkhead, you know, fared really good. Right. So we decided to uh, you know, try making the uh, casting tubes of the same material. Three, two, one!
Hey, yeah, who are I? <laughs> wow, and I was holding my breath when uh, that second pulse happened. I thought, oh man, six days of making these grains. And uh, yeah, super, I'm stoked. It's a complete success. Yeah, I'm, awesome. I'm hoping that this uh, case down here is going to be reusable. Hope that uh, there's just an outside paint. Hope that's uh, just superficial. So we're about to launch my rocket. I, I really have my doubts as to whether or not it's going to work or not. It got shaken up so bad on the way out here, and this heat, I mean, it's over 100 degrees. It's been sitting around for hours while we waited for the other test to get completed. So I really have my doubts if it's going to work at all. But um, eh, why not? We'll see what happens. that the rocket actually worked after taking a beating like this for miles and miles on this dirt road. But it did. The engine worked great after sitting out in the desert sun at 104 degrees for all day. And not only that, the ejection worked perfectly. Um, parachute lines got tangled again where it didn't open up 100%, but opened up enough to slow its descent. So that's the next thing I have to work on is the, uh, the parachute rigging so that when the parachute comes out, it'll open up all the way. That's not a problem I've had before, it's a problem I like to have. It's 22,000 square miles of mostly. I don't know why I can't get that, I can't get that right, man. All right, stop it and start it again. 22,000 square miles of mostly no. I can't help it. 22,000 square feet of mostly nothing. It's three times. Why are you gonna laugh? Because you said square feet. Did I? Yes. Oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> it's 22,000 square miles of mostly nothing. That's three times the. What? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Alright. 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 Let's get it. I'm horrible at this. Mojave. How do you say it? Mojave. Mojave. Ooh, look. Somebody got busted. <laughs> 